What do you think about people like Aaron Schwartz? I don't know if you're familiar with him, but uh, he was somebody uh, who broke the law in the name of an ethical ideal. He uh, downloaded and released um, academic publications that were behind uh, a paywall. And uh, he was uh, arrested for that and then committed suicide. And a lot of people see him, uh, certainly in the MIT community, but uh, throughout the world as a hero because you look at the way knowledge, scientific knowledge is being put behind paywalls, it does seem somehow unethical. And he basically broke the law to do the ethical thing. Now you could challenge it, maybe it is unethical, but the, you know there's a gray area and to me at least, it is ethical, to me at least, he is a hero. Because I'm familiar with the paywall created by uh, the institutions that hold these publications, they're adding very little value. So it is basically holding hostage the work of millions of brilliant scientists um, for, for some kind of, honestly, a a crappy capitalist institution. Like they're not actually making that much money. It doesn't make any sense to me. It should, to me, it should all be open, uh, public access. Uh, there's no reason it shouldn't be all publication should be. So he stood for that ideal and um, and was punished harshly for it. That's the other criticism, was too harshly. And of course, uh, deeply unfortunately, that also led to a suicide because he was also tormented on many levels. I mean, do you, are you familiar with him? What do you think about that line between what is legal and what is ethical? So it's tough. It's a tough case. I mean, the the, the outcome was tragic, obviously. Um, he, 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 unfortunately, when you're in law enforcement, you, you have to, your job is to enforce the laws. I mean, it's not, if, if you're told that you have to do a certain case, you know, and there is a violation of, at the time, you know, 18 USC 10, 1030, uh, computer hacking, um, you have to press forward with that. I mean, the, the, you have to charge, the, you, you bring the case to the U.S. Attorney's Office and whether they're going to press charges or not, you know, you can't, you can't really pick and choose what you, press and don't press for it. I never felt that, at least that flexibility, not in the FBI. I mean, maybe if you, when you're a street cop and you pull somebody over, you can let them go with a warning. So in the FBI, you're sitting in a room, but you're also you're also a human being. You have sure. compassion. When yeah. You arrested Ross, and the hand on the chest. I mean, that's that's a human thing. Sure. So there's a... But I'm, I can't be the jury for whether it was a good hack or a bad hack. It's all someone, a victim has come forward and said, we're the victim of this. And, and I agree with you because, I, again, I let, the basis of the internet was to share academic thought. Yeah. I mean, that's where the internet was born. But it's not, it's not up to you. So the, the role of the FBI is to enforce the law. Correct. 